Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. My name is Ricky. This is Jesse. This is a challenge run where we are not taking any perks, sort of, and we are not directly increasing any of our skills permanently. Today, we are going to the strip. That's right, we are headed to that big tall building in the background. Way in the background. So, as we head to the strip, I'm going to talk a little bit about my thinking as to why we are doing this right now, why we are doing this right now. I am suddenly looking at my health and realizing maybe I should have healed before we started doing this, but you know what? We're here. So, uh, there's a couple of reasons why I've been thinking about this. The, uh, but mostly what I was thinking about doing this week was really going to Freeside and doing the Freeside stuff, but to be honest with you, A, I've already done it, and B, there's not a big challenge to doing the Freeside stuff. Uh, you know, Wang Dang Atomic Tango, you don't need a single skill to finish that quest. You just gotta be able to go around places and find people. Eh, not a difficult quest to do. You know, um, even GI Blues, there's just not a lot that happens with the Freeside stuff. So, uh, I'm thinking that we'll probably wind up putting the Freeside stuff not on the channel. And then I'll probably wind up just doing it, you know, off the channel. It kind of looked like one of those hollowed out rocks. Um, but good news, I've already done all of it on the channel already during my most melee playthrough where, if I'm being completely honest, where I didn't really know everything about the game at that point, and now, of course, I'm an expert on Fallout New Vegas and know everything about this game, and I'm never surprised ever. And certainly there has been nothing that has surprised me on this playthrough at all. But I do want to do things for the followers of the Apocalypse, because I do want to be idolized by the followers of the Apocalypse, because I do want their little hideaway thing. No reason, just because. I mean, there's... I'm actually being quite serious. There's a couple skill magazines in there and potentially combat armor because the more I play through the game using just two damage threshold, the more I realize that maybe, just maybe, just maybe, we might need to have a higher damage threshold or we might need to lower the difficulty. So the other reason that we're doing this is also quite simple. I really want Maria. Like, desperately want Maria. I I mean, it's got double the critical chance. It does more damage. I don't know how much more damage than a regular 9mm, but it has double the critical chance. So I have a 14 critical chance right now, so that will go up to 28, which means that one out of every four shots should be a critical. And here is the New Vegas Clinic. Let's go inside, shall we? Hello, Dr. Usanagi. Welcome to the New Vegas Medical Clinic. I'm a fully qualified physician and can fix whatever is wrong with you for a reasonable fee. If you've got the caps, I've also got several implants available to enhance your physical attributes. Uh, what kind of implants do you have available? I have several basic implants available that can enhance your physical abilities. Make you faster, smarter, stronger, that sort of thing. Cool. I've also got two much more expensive implants. One's a subdermal implant that will make you more resistant to damage. Nice. The other implant induces a mild regenerative effect. Your wounds will practically heal before Interesting. Your okay, so currently I can take seven implants. And by currently, I mean permanently i can take seven implants that is how high my endurance is and my endurance is not going up the implant the endurance implant does not grant you an additional implant unfortunately it does however grant you all the other effects of endurance thank you yikes um, I don't expect we're going to put every one of our special up. Like, I don't need to put strength up. There's no reason to put strength up. We're not using melee weapons. We're not using any guns that have a high strength requirement. Um, our strength requirement for our guns are zero. Or, I think. Nope, two. Strength requirement of two. You know, the other thing, probably won't put up perception. Because even though I only have two perception, it's not that useful of a special point in this game. Like in Fallout 4, it affects accuracy. 
In Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas, it only affects accuracy for energy weapons. All right, here's the strip gate. Uh, this guy's gonna come up and tell me not to try and go past it. I don't care. We'll get a demonstration of that later. Submit to a credit check or present your passport before proceeding to the gate. Trespassers will be shot. Uh, I'll submit to the credit check. Thank you, madam. You may proceed. Uh oh. Okay. You guys suck. You all suck. Okay. Here comes Victor. Howdy, partner. You come for a piece, haven't you? Welcome to New Vegas. Hit house four. Hello, Jane. Well, hello, Yeah, blah, blah, blah. I have snow globes for him. Not many. I have a snow globe. You do? Why that? I actually don't know which snow globe I had. Uh, Good Springs, okay. I thought I thought that was the only one I had. Hello, Mr. House. This meeting has been a long time coming, hasn't it? <laughs> has it? A long ways, literally, and I suspect figuratively as well. You see that you and I are of a different stripe, don't you? We don't have to dream that we're important. We are. Shall we get down to business then? The business is this. One of my employees has stolen an item of extraordinary value from me. Yeah. And I want it Stole it from me too. Simple enough. My only concern is the recovery of the platinum chip. What happens to Benny, I leave to your discretion. When you bring the chip to me, I will pay you four times the delivery bonus stipulated in your contract. How's that? I like me some money. I'm sorry, four times is only a thousand caps. Also, I gotta be honest with you. I think the failed speech checks are way more interesting than the un than the uh, successful ones. Chip out of luck? I mean, come on, that's great. Well enough. Return to me when you have the platinum chip in your possession. Bye, house. I'll go do that now. Hey, you there. I have a message for you. Do you now, NCR From Trooper? Ambassador Crocker. Very important. Here you go. Okay. That tells me to go see Crocker, which I'll go see Crocker. Don't worry. Hi, Swank. Hello, baby. Welcome to the tops. What can I do for you? Uh, I think you should know something about Benny. So you can do this a couple of different ways. You can go with the evidence or you can go with the speech text, which is what we're going to do. I don't think you're going to like it. Seems like Benny's been making his own play. Huh? What are you talking about? Uh, Benny tried to kill me and stole a platinum chip I was hired to deliver. Why would he pull a stunt like that? Well. Got anything else to offer? Uh, he tried to make it look like an accident, just a traveler killed and robbed in the wasteland. He's trying to pull a fast one on the big man. Yes. Crazy bastard. You got any more? That's it. Jesus, kid. I think we got a real problem on our hands. Can't believe Benny's a no-good stinking punk trying to play house like that. Tell you what. I'll call Benny, keep him away from his suite. You go search the place. Hey, yes, man. What's up? Hey. Hi there. Good to meet you. Um, who are you doing here? Blah, blah, blah. You're a yes man. Benny, uh, have you seen Benny? Uh, Benny stole platinum chip. Blah, blah, blah. Let me do the trip. You're very forthcoming. Blah, 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 blah. I skipped over all of it, obviously, but I think that might be enough information for me to tell Swank that we got to take Benny out. If it's not, on the other hand, we'll be back up here in a second. You, Swank. Hey, there's the high roll. You're back. Find anything? Uh, Benny reprogrammed a Securitron. He's trying to take over the strip. He's what? Yep. Ah, jeez. Jeez, this is really bad. What are you going to do? I think we should take him out. Yeah. Take him out. Take him out? Jesus. Okay, well, if you think that's the best way to deal with this, I'll send him up to his room. You can ambush him there. And don't worry about the rest of the chairman. I'll keep him from getting involved. You'll still have to watch out for Benny's guards, though. Will I, though? So... I am hoping that this works, because I don't know if it will. But I'm hoping that I can knock Maria out of Benny's hands, pick up Maria, and then finish the job. I talked about this a couple weeks ago. I have seen people lose their weapons before. What in the goddamn? You? How could you be? Oh, swank, you... Blah, blah, blah. Matthew Perry, look, time to die. Sorry. It's time to die, Matthew Perry. Wait for him to get his gun out so that way I can actually. I'm gonna ring your bell. Okay. 
That did not work, so we're going to do it again. Let's use a less powerful weapon. Uh, I'm going to use a less powerful weapon this time. It's still a machete, but I'm going to try and hit him in the arm. In the God. Blah, blah, blah. No time to... It's just time to die. No time to die. That's a Bond movie or whatever. Oh, where'd it go? Dad, gum it! It worked. Well, I died that time because I couldn't get to his gun in time. Okay, so it works. I just have to actually see it happen first. What in the god? And then I have to actually pick it up. Did I pick up Maria? <gasps> I picked up Maria! You have no idea how excited I am to do this. Also, I have more shots in VATS, too. It's got a lower AP cost. So, get this 9 to boot. His suit. Platinum chip. President's sweet key. His sweet key. Oh, and I leveled up to level 9, which, of course, doesn't matter at all. Oh, that was awesome. Okay, so that was pretty sweet. I'm just gonna say that right now. There you go. Talk about owned completed. Kill Benny with his own gun. That is a two-star challenge. If I complete two more two-star challenges, I will get an achievement. Okay, so remember a couple of minutes ago, uh, for you probably, when I said that um, we weren't using melee weapons, I kind of forgot that one of the challenges requires me to kill the vipers, jackals, or fiends and um, kill them with the machetes or a bunch of other stuff, but machetes. Hey, Swank. Is Benny taken care of yet? Yeah, he's dead. Huh. Guess that makes me the boss. Ring a ding. Oh, the hello. The mighty Kaiser hey! You. He admires your accomplishments I know you, without your weird, the creepy hat. Of his mark. Any crimes you may have perpetrated against the Legion are hereby... Forgiven. My lord requires your presence at his camp at fortification. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. His mark will guarantee your safe conduct through our lands. Tell Caesar I accept his invitation. Seek Kaisar by way of Cottonwood Cove. Sorry, Kaisar. Nelson. The Kursor Lucullus will be waiting. Just to be clear, not going to go to camp there to Cottonwood Cove. We are not going to go to the fort. We are not going to meet Caesar. This is an NCR run. You can completely avoid it. Heck, it's an NCR run. You don't even have to get the platinum chip. That's not a joke. You don't have to get the platinum chip. You literally just have to meet House. I mean, it makes it easier when you go to Kill House to have the platinum chip. You can go get the password from H and H Tools or whatever it is. Hey, House. 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 So, Benny has been handled, and you've recovered the platinum chip. Let's have it. Here you go. Such a small thing, isn't it? And yet so capacious. We get it, you no know big so words. What happens next? A great deal shall be happening. A cascade of events with you taking a central role. How do you know that? At the moment, however, all you need to do is take the elevator all the way down to the bottom level. You'll understand soon enough. Okay. I'm going to cut this next part out. Oh, hey, look, I leveled up again. Again, I'll be taking a perk called No Perk Thanks. It doesn't do anything. So we made it to the strip. We met Mr. House. We took care of Benny. We got his gun. We did own him, if you will. I'm not really sure what's in store for the next couple of episodes, but I imagine we're going to go back to helping the NCR a bunch more over the next couple of weeks. This has been Fallout New Vegas. Thank you for watching and come back soon for more New Vegas.